Austrian boy sailing on the Danube River finds a hundred thousand dollars in cash. Coming in second to the Volga River, the Danube River is the second largest river in all of Europe. It's an exciting fact that you truly never know when a bit of lucky fortune will fall into your lap. Some people find breathtaking works of art hidden inside the walls of their home, and other people find ancient Roman coins buried in their backyard. You really never know when you're going to stumble across some good luck, and these people are definitely proof of that. The Danube is so long that it actually cuts through 10 various countries. In fact, the Danube cuts right through Vienna, the capital of Austria. This young boy was fishing along this infamous river when he realized that there was more to be found in the water than just the fish. On this particular day, the boy joined his father on a sailing adventure down the Danube. The picturesque journey was one that the father and son duo had taken plenty of times before. Luckily, the weather that day was ideal for a pleasant day of bonding on the water. The young boy and his father spent the day in peace. They cruised along the water, making sure to wave to other boats as they passed by them. The pair had only been sailing for a short amount of time when the boy asked his father to slow down a bit. Close by, something strange was floating in the water. The father began to move the boat closer, but he had no clue what was in the water. The objects may have been strange, but they could tell that they were indeed tiny scraps of paper. But there wasn't anyone around them, so how did the little pieces of paper end up in the river? With the father's protective eyes watching him, the boy jumped into the river. As he began to get closer, the boy realized that there must have been hundreds of rectangular pieces of paper in the water. As soon as the boy was able to get his hands on one, he looked down and screamed for his dad. The boy and his father couldn't believe what they'd stumbled across. There, right in front of them in the Danube River, was a bunch of cold, hard cash. Once the boy finished picking up all the money, his father got out his phone and made an important call. The father knew that he had to call the authorities about what they found in the river. The police, who arrived at the scene in no time at all, were shocked to see what the boy had discovered. This wasn't just a few dollars, after all. The boy had found an unbelievable amount of money in the river. So what was going to happen next? Finders keepers is a real thing to government officials in Austria, but there are some stipulations. According to Austrian law, if someone finds money and turns it into the proper authorities, then they are entitled to 5 and 10 percent of the total amount found. Of course, that all depends on whether or not the money is linked to illegal operations. Luckily, the money wasn't linked to any kind of illegal activity, so once the money was dried out and counted at the police station, the boy and his dad were given their fair share. A cool $11,500. The boy and his father were extremely fortunate to stumble across the money that morning, but it's not the first time something like that's ever happened. In fact, it happens a lot more than you think. A resident of Florida, Robbie Robinson, was definitely hanging out with Lady Luck in February 2018. Robbie works for a pest control business in Central Florida. One afternoon, he was on his way to a client's house. He saw something strange on the side of the road. Robbie pulled over and realized that it was a bag, so he decided to take a little peek at its contents. Once Robbie looked inside of the bag, his jaw dropped from shock. Inside of the bag were stacks upon stacks of money. Along with the money was a bank receipt that had the address of the bank where the money was taken from. Without thinking twice, Robbie got back into his vehicle and drove to the bank. Robbie walked into the bank and explained to one of the tellers what he found on the side of the road. Considering that most people would have just kept the money and never talked about it again, the teller was surprised at Robbie's honesty. Hoping that the rightful owner would recognize the bag, Robbie took a picture of the bag he found and posted it on Facebook. It wasn't long before a man named Robbie Lewis was responding to Robbie's post. That large bag of money belonged to him, and he'd been freaking out about it ever since he'd lost it. Finally, the money was back with its rightful owner, and both men were able to rest easy that night. You may be thinking that those two stories are too good to be true, but you'd be wrong. You're about to realize that people lose money way more often than you think. Say hello to Joe Cornell from Fresno, California. Joe was doing what he normally did on a typical day in 2014 when all of a sudden something surprised him. Joe was on his way to his favorite local deli to grab some lunch when he noticed something happening at the bank. Parked right in front of the bank was a large armored Brinks truck. There were police officers loading up stacks of cash into the back of the truck. Seems normal, right? 
Joe thought so too, until he noticed something strange. As the truck drove away, Joe noticed something sitting on the curb. Apparently, the officers neglected to put the final bag onto the truck. Joe just so happened to be the only person around, so he walked over to the bag and looked inside. It was just as Joe suspected. The bag was stuffed full with $125,000. Of course, the thought of taking a bit of money crossed through Joe's mind, but he knew better than that. Joe was trying to get his life back on track, and he was currently living at the Salvation Army Adult Rehabilitation Center, attempting to kick a nasty drug habit. Even though his honesty was being tested, Joe had no intention of failing the exam. Joe immediately picked up the bag and turned it into the bank. The employees at the bank couldn't believe that such a huge mistake was made by the officers loading the truck. Luckily, the Briggs company was so grateful for Joe's honesty that they gave him a prepaid debit card with $5,000 on it. All of these people showed their honest nature when it really mattered. Joe, Robbie Robinson, and the father and son team from Austria all made the right decisions when it came to their findings. But they're most certainly not the only ones who have ever done so. A 62-year-old homeless woman from Calgary, Canada came across a purse that contained over $10,000 stuffed inside it. Despite the fact that she was living in a shelter, the woman still turned in the money. Immediately, people from all over tried to help this woman out but she was too embarrassed about being homeless to accept any of the help. Eventually, a trust fund was established for the woman, and she was finally able to get off the streets and move into her own apartment. Walmart employee Bismarck Mensa was collecting carts from the parking lot when he noticed an envelope sitting on the ground. Realizing that it had $20,000 inside of it, Bismarck ran after the car that had dropped it. Apparently, Leona Wisdom and Gary Elton had just received the money from a finance company for the down payment for a house. Even though the couple offered Bismarck a reward and dinner, he refused. He did receive Walmart's Integrity in Action Award from Walmart, though. 42-year-old cab driver from Las Vegas, Adam Woldem Merrim, was cleaning out his taxi when he noticed a black laptop case sitting in the back seat. When he opened it, he discovered $221,510. With his morals in check, the Ethiopian immigrant returned the money to the cab company's security desk. About an hour later, he was asked to return to the office. Apparently, the man who had lost the money, which he had just won at the casino, wanted to thank Adam for finding his money by giving him a $2,000 tip. 19-year-old Christopher Montgomery was cleaning between the movie theater seats when he noticed a small pouch. Inside of the pouch was $24,000. But instead of pocketing the cash, Christopher turned it into his manager. Apparently, small business owner Rose Marie Limoncelli was watching Happy Feet when the pouch, which contained her earnings, fell onto the ground. The young employee was offered a reward, but he refused to take it. You see, people from all over the world find themselves in some pretty crazy situations. The next time you're out sailing or walking to your favorite deli, pay attention to your surroundings. You never know when a good deed could help someone out and maybe even put a little bit of extra cash in your pocket.